Ever wondered what lurks in the shadows of your mind? According to psychology, each of us harbors a unique shadow complex where our deepest desires, fears, and conflicts hide. So, wanna know which shadow complex might be lurking within you? Answer this quiz to find out. Remember, there are no right or wrong answers, just insights waiting to be uncovered. So answer honestly. This quiz is for fun and self-reflection purposes only. The results are not professional advice nor diagnosis. Please remember that human behavior is complex and these results should be interpreted cautiously. Seek professional guidance if needed and prioritize your mental well-being. Enjoy the quiz. Ready? Let's go. Number one, when faced with a friend's problem, how do you typically react? A, jump in immediately to solve their problem for them. B, feel like it's somehow your fault and become defensive. C, feel inadequate and unsure of how to help. D, try to cheer them up by flirting with them. Number two, how do you handle criticism? A, take it to heart, but use it to improve myself to better help others. B, feel attacked and misunderstood, even when it's constructive. C, cry and dwell on it, even if I know it's not personal. Or D, turn on the charm and try to win them over. Number three, what's your role in a group setting? A, leading and guiding others, taking charge. B, feeling like an outsider, observing from the sidelines. C, staying quiet, fearing judgment or rejection. Or D, flirting and charming, seeking attention and admiration. Number four, what's your approach to relationships? A, you often find yourself taking care of others, sometimes at your own expense. B, you feel like others are out to get you or betray you, making trust difficult. C, you struggle with feeling worthy of love and attention. Or D, you enjoy the thrill of the chase and crave constant attention and validation. Number five, how do you feel about authority figures? A, you respect them and often see yourself as one. B, you feel like they're always watching and judging you unfairly. C, you easily get intimidated by them and feel like you have to please or prove something to them. Or D, you might flirt with them or try to charm them to get what you want. Number six, when you achieve something significant, how do you react? A, you feel proud and fulfilled, especially if it helps others. B, you might downplay it, feeling like you don't deserve recognition. C, you struggle to acknowledge your accomplishments, feeling like they're not enough. Or D, you enjoy the attention and praise, perhaps even seeking more. And number seven, how do you handle rejection in romantic relationships? A, you might blame yourself and try to fix the situation. B, you tend to blame the other person more and become defensive. C, you take it to mean that you're not good enough to be loved by this person. Or D, you move on quickly, confident in your ability to win someone else over. Now, tally up your answers to find out which shadow complex you have. Remember, this quiz is just a tool for self-reflection. If you answered mostly A's, you have a savior complex. This complex stems from a deep need to feel important or validated and may be rooted in early childhood experiences of feeling powerless or neglected. As a result, you feel a strong need to save others from their problems, even at your own expense. But remember, you don't have to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders. Sometimes the greatest act of heroism is allowing others to save themselves. If you answered mostly bees, you have a persecution complex. That feeling like everyone's out to get you, even when they're not, is the persecution complex whispering in your ear. It's often caused by past traumas or deep-seated fear of rejection. It makes you hyper-aware and overly sensitive to criticism and negative feedback. Every comment, every glance, feels like it's loaded with hidden meaning, ready to detonate your fragile sense of security. And you constantly second-guess every interaction, searching for signs of danger where there might be none. But the universe isn't conspiring against you. It's just your mind's way of trying to protect you from getting hurt again. If you answered mostly C's, you have an inferiority complex. No matter what you do, you struggle to feel good enough. 
You're convinced everyone else has it all together while you're left feeling like you're missing the mark at every turn. But believe us when we say, that's just your inferiority complex making you feel this way. It's like a tangled knot of emotions rooted in this deep-seated belief that you're somehow less than others. So to compensate, you're constantly seeking validation and trying to prove your worth in the eyes of others. But we're here to tell you that you are so much more than your insecurities, and no matter what that voice in your head says, you are enough, just as you are. If you answered mostly Ds, you have a Casanova complex. Constantly seeking validation through romantic conquests, you probably have a deep-seated fear of commitment and intimacy too. You thrive on the chase, the excitement of new romance, but struggle when it comes to building something lasting. Beneath your charming exterior lies a fear of vulnerability, of letting someone truly know you. And while your adventures make for great stories, deep down, you might crave a connection that goes beyond the temporary thrills of fleeting romance. So, do you agree with the results? Which shadow complex resonates most with you? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please support our channel with a like, share, and subscribe. We also have plenty more quizzes for you to click on next, like what emotion do you hide behind your eyes? And how toxic are you? Thanks for watching.